Bien, antes de iniciar, vamos a, a, a explicarles que tenemos un ejercicio de Past Perfect, que es de la, la lección que vamos a estudiar este día. ¿Qué va a hacer usted? Pues contestarlo. Bueno, ya right at the cinema, cuando llegue al cine, da fun. Con el pasado. Past Perfect, ¿eh? Start. Bien, si usted no revisar, el chequecito que está correcto, show, es mostrar la respuesta. Cuando usted los haya terminado, son, quiero ver, 15, 19, 20. Cuando los haya terminado los 20, les toma fotografías eh, de manera que se puedan ver todos, o sea, unas dos o tres fotografías, las que necesite, y las sube aquí a la tarea del libro, que es la que vamos a, a, a ver ahorita, que es el libro. Vamos, vamos la lección de ahora que es la 4B, 4B, ok, who do need? 4B, who done it? Vocabulary, it. A, 1. A young man dressed as a police officer kidnapped a seven-year-old girl from the park yesterday evening. 2. The police caught the man who robbed the bank last week. Three. The police arrested two people last night. All the evidence points to them. Four. This morning, the security guard at the local supermarket arrested an old man who was shoplifting. Okay. Kidnapped, robbed, arrested, shoplifting. Complete el cuadro con las palabras de la caja. Luego escuche y revises las respuestas. B. Crime. Robbery. Shoplifting. Theft. Kidnapping. Pickpocketing. Burglary. Criminal. Robber. Shoplifter. Thief. Kidnapper. Pickpocket. Burglar. Bien, vamos a completar lo que son crime y lo que es una especie de criminal en inglés, el crimen. Robbery, criminal, le llamamos robber. Ladrón. Burglary, burglar. Crime, pickpocketing, pickpocket. En el que se roba las carteras. Kidnapping, kidnapper. En el que secuestra. Shoplifting, shoplifter. En el que roba en las tiendas. Theft, thief, ladrón en general. Next, answer the following questions. En un cuaderno puede contestarlas. Have you ever read a crime story or watched a detective film? ¿Alguna vez ha leído una historia de crimen o visto una, un, una película de detectives? Eh, what happened in the end? ¿Qué sucedió al final? Were the criminals caught? ¿Fueron los criminales atrapados? Do you like it? Why or why not? ¿Te gustó? ¿Por qué o por qué no? No hago los foros ya porque realmente eh, se han agregado más secciones, más alumnos de otra escuela para la cual yo labor. Por lo tanto, esto lo puede hacer en su cuaderno. Copia las preguntas y las contesta ahí. Y agrega las fotografías que ha contestado. Bien. Mira las fechas y los encabezados de dos periódicos, artículos de dos periódicos. Adivina qué ocurrió. Luego escucha y lee y revisa tus respuestas. Read. B. The Daily News, March 19, 1990. Major art theft. In the early hours of yesterday morning, two thieves stole artwork worth $100 million from the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum in Boston. The thieves, who were dressed as police officers and were wearing false mustaches, entered the museum in the middle of the night. After they had tied up the security guards, they stole 13 pieces of art. They removed the largest paintings from their frames to carry them more easily. Surprisingly, they did not take the most valuable painting in the museum, a masterpiece by Titian. No one knows why they left it behind. The FBI are now investigating the theft, and the museum is offering a million dollar reward for any information that will help with the thieves' arrest. Esto, 
The Daily News, March 18, 2012. Still missing. It is now 22 years since one of the biggest art thefts in history. The 13 pieces of art which thieves stole from the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum in 1990 are worth more than $500 million today. An international police investigation and a reward which has risen to $5 million have not solved the mystery yet. If you visit the museum today, you will see the empty frames from which the thieves took the paintings. The reason for this is that the museum can't make changes to any of the galleries. That's one of the rules the owner, Isabella Stewart Gardner, had left for running the museum before she died in 1924. There, two place. Well, March in 1990. The pieces were artwork worth a hundred million dollars. The thief left the most valuable painting in the museum, the masterpiece by T, behind. Worth a hundred million dollars. million dollars he was five million dollars no one can take down the empty phrase next past perfect symbols the same time de ahora tenemos full forms I have written yo hubiese escrito short forms una más corta I puede contactarlo o sea no apostrofe y la de Y el, el verbo del pasado participio, written. Full form, I have not written. Eh, short form, I hadn't written. Questions, had I written? Charlie had finished his work eh, by 10 o'clock last night. By the time the police arrived, the burglar had disappeared. Charlie se terminó su tarea a las 10 ayer por la noche. By the, al, al momento que la policía llegó, el ladrón ya se había ido, desaparecido. Bien, formas completas, have written, decíamos, forma con, contratada con un apóstrofe la de, pone I written. Por ejemplo, puede ir así. Así sería, como que tengo acá. I, voy a poner, I written. Puedo poner I have reached. De las dos formas. Es correcto. Bien. Usamos el formamos el past perfect simple con had y el pasado participio de los verbos. Puedo dar un listado de ustedes. Se debería de tenerlo en la página 107 para que lo repase de cada uno de los verbos. Usamos el past perfect para acciones que tomaron lugar antes de un punto específico o tiempo. Hubo otra acción en el pasado. She had finished her homework by 8 o'clock. Se ha terminado su tarea a las 8 en punto. The train had left by the time we arrived at the station. El tren se ha ido al momento que llegamos a la estación. La estación en el tiempo, before, uh, más un punto en el tiempo, by, más un punto en el tiempo, before, after, when, by the time. When, after, before, and by the time are son usados para enlazar dos acciones en el pasado, lo cual una ocurrió antes que la otra. Usamos el past perfect para una acción que ocurrió antes. She had already called him before she left the house. The house. Ella se ya ha llamado antes de haber sido para la casa. Bien, by the time, vamos a completar, el tiempo se nos está acabando. By the time we arrived at the movie theater, the movie had started. Cuando el verbo es regular, solo le agregamos ed. Bien, está, los verbos son regulares. After Peter had washed his car, it started raining. They had roofed three months before the police arrested them. Had Martha come, can come. El pasado participio de come es come, el mismo. Este es un verbo irregular, por lo tanto, tienen que aprenderse los verbos irregulares. Como ya lo decíamos, ahí están en el libro. From work when you called her, Karen had cleaned her room by eight o'clock yesterday afternoon. Bien, yo creo que hasta ahí llegaríamos. 
Entonces, bien, acá tenemos este kidnapping. Vamos a, a escuchar un pequeño audio para contestar esta actividad extra. Listen. Listen to two TV hosts and complete the sentences below. Now, let's see what Fiona Roberts has for us. Any amazing stories, Fiona? Good morning, everyone. I'm sure you've all heard about the 12-year-old boy who was kidnapped three weeks ago. James Coogan? Yes, he was kidnapped while playing in a park near his home. And if I remember correctly, the kidnappers have asked for $1 million. A lot of money. Correct, but that's all over now. He's back with his family as we speak. What? The police found him? Well, not exactly the police, but let me start from the beginning. The kidnappers worked for Mega Circus, you know, the one that's been in town for over a month. They kidnapped the boy and were keeping him there, tied up in a tent. Now that's news. Okay, so if the police didn't find James, who rescued him? Someone from the circus? Exactly. Mandy was wandering around last night as usual, heard the boy crying and helped him free himself from the ropes. Mandy? Let me guess. Is she the circus clown? An acrobat? Actually, she's a monkey. I would never have guessed that an animal would free that poor boy. Yes, it's unbelievable. Anyway, James left the circus with Mandy on his shoulder at 5 a.m. and tried to find his way home, even though he was very weak. Luckily, a police car was driving past and stopped. James explained what had happened. The officers called his parents and took him to the hospital. What about the kidnappers? Well, James described the three kidnappers, but up until now, the police have caught only two of them. However, they seem to believe that more people from the circus are involved in the kidnapping. Well, all's well that ends well. Luckily, not for the kidnappers. And now, the kidnapping happened three weeks ago, for the second semana, the kidnappers asked for one million dollars. They kept James Coogan in attend in the circus. Mandy and Monkey and Animal saved the boy. The police have arrested two of the kidnappers so far. Bien, hasta acá. Regresando acá. Eh, passport, no se les olvide. Vamos a ubicar siempre el sujeto. Y luego, ha, siempre vamos a poner ha, yo. Fíjense bien. En este caso sería yo había escrito, él había escrito, ella había escrito, o que yo había escrito. Eh, eh, si lo podemos traducir, ¿ve? Charlie had finished, Charlie había terminado su tarea a las 8 punto y por la noche. A la hora que la policía llegó, el ladrón había desaparecido. Entonces vamos a ubicar siempre el sujeto, o had, y el verbo en el pasado participio. Si el verbo es regular, recordemos que solo le agregamos ed, pero si el verbo es irregular, aquí ¿no? ella había llamado, ella ya lo había llamado antes de que se fuese de la casa. En este caso, como es regular, solo le agregamos ed, pero si el verbo es irregular, tiene que aprenderse el pasado y participio. Bien, esto sería todo. Take care.